In today's video, I'm going to be taking Warbox Sandbox and we're going to recreate the Second World War once again. Now, make sure you watch until the end of the video because I've got a lot of Steam keys to give away today. Normally, in Warbox Sandbox, we can play from one of these nine maps, but there's a bunch of modded maps now. For example, Dunkirk, and then we've also got the Maginot Line. So, I think the first one we spawn into is going to be the Maginot Line. What is that? Ooh. Those look like pumpkins. Okay. Okay. Well, that appears to be the Maginot line. So we've got a series of bunkers here. So what we'll do is we'll fill the bunker full of French soldiers. And then on the other side, we'll put a bunch of German soldiers. And seeing as this is now a World War II battle simulator, we'll press play and they will battle. Okay, so this is the French Maginot line. That's 100 units. Remember, you can keep count of how many units are left at the very top of the map. Now let's place down the German attackers who are going to be attacking through the barbed wire. As you can see, they're going to be attacking these French units over here. Place your bets in the comment section and uh, let's begin the battle. Okay, I think this is gonna get very messy straight away. Oh my god, how has this already happened? What a travesty, literally. What I like to do when I'm playing Warbox Sandbox, I like to trace back like I'm like, oh, whose head is this? For example, you see this head rolling down here? It's like, whose was it? Let's see, let's look at the let's look at the scoreboard. I think that French might be winning because you see these guys who are guarding up the top. They've got a really good overwatch position down here. The Germans are winning on this side. I think the Germans are just winning, which which does make sense to be fair. Actually, does it make sense? They're going directly through the Maginot line. I wouldn't have necessarily suspected them to win. Come on, mate. Just get the one kill. Just get the one kill. It's a, it's a 1v1. It's a... Oh, no. Oh, no. His arm's been shot off. Is he is he dead? He's kind of like jittering around a little bit. I think he might be dead. Yeah, the French have apparently got one unit left and it's this guy at the top. Let's see if he can win it. Is, is this one... F ah, well then. That might constitute a defeat. You know what this battle needs? What this battle needs is 50... Soviet soldiers who are equipped with nothing but their fists. I mean, to be fair, they could pick up that car 98. That is possible. What do we reckon, boys? We've got uh, 21 badly bruised Germans in the Maginot line versus 48 Soviets with their fists. Surely there's no way the Soviets win this. Yeah, no, there's absolutely no way the Soviets win this. For some reason, I was kind of secretly hoping. I was like, oh, no, maybe they'll win. It turns out gun beats fist. Wow. I know. I know. Crazy. I love how there's just like the battles ended, but there's still just some heads rolling around. Okay, so that was a battle that happened in Warbox Sandbox. Let's let's do another one. Let's look at... You know, I'm actually half tempted to do Darkest Day again just because it's a really good beach map. I could... You know what? Screw it. I don't need to convince you. I'm gonna do what I want. Okay, so I, I can't remember what the, what the like the reasonable unit limit is in Warbox Sandbox before it starts lagging. I feel like 274 units might be pushing it. It? I suppose there's one way to find out. Okay, let the lag fest begin! How is this gonna work? Or is it gonna work? It's not awful. It's, I mean, these guys have been absolutely slaughtered. Yeah, something tells me the Americans might have an advantage here. Maybe. Just maybe. Although, actually, uh, only half the Germans have died. I mean, look at these guys over here. Uh, also, it's quite funny watching the MG42s fire. It's like... <laughs> the Germans... Oh, of, of course, there's actually more of them up here. But uh, they're also now getting cut down. 120 Americans are left. This guy has chosen death. Although, the guys over here are actually doing a pretty good job at getting these MG42s. The little piles of bodies, man. It's so funny. Is there anyone still left in these bunkers? I think there is. Oh. Oh, yeah. Nah, there is. Yeah. Oh. Oh, hold on, are guys coming in for them? The Normandy beaches, like you've never seen before. Quite literally, like you've never seen before. Did, did a head just fall off that wall? So these guys appear to be slightly confused with how to get these guys in a bunker, but I don't think it is gonna matter for too much longer because I think some of the Americans are... Oh, no, 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 They're actually not even bothering with those guys. Once they get up there, they're just running past, but there's only two MG42s left. The other one is down. He is now also down. I think it is literally all down to this one MG42. In here. Oh no, no, no. One American has cleaned him out. Where's the last MG42? Oh no, there aren't any more. Okay, well, there you go. That is one to one how the Americans won at uh, Utah. Right, let's see what else we're, we're working with here, okay? So we tried the Maginot line. Should we try Dunkirk? Let's do Dunkirk. Let's do Dunkirk. Come on, why not? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a bunch of Germans charging in from the back against some French defenders as the British line up to sail off to uh, the lovely British coast. Right, uh, French lads. I hope you're ready. I don't think they are, but we'll give it a spin regardless. So, lag in three, two, one, begin. 
Oh my god. It's it's actually gonna be that bad. No, 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 no. <laughs> That is okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm, I'm normally willing to let you watch a little bit of a PowerPoint, but that is legit like 0.5 frames a second. I'm not sure we can do that. Okay. So the units have been placed again. This time it's 123 versus 141. Slightly more reasonable. Let's begin the battle. Now let's see what the frame rate is going to be like on this. It's still a little bit slow. It's still not quite where I'd like it to be, but the more units that die, the better the frame rate's gonna get. So we're just gonna spectate this French line real quick and see how long these guys can survive for. The answer to that question appears to be not very long, although the Germans are being absolutely... I'm sorry, wait, hold on, what? How have the French done that much damage? Let's just go down the line a little bit and just... That's a lot of dead German soldiers. Let's look at the other the other street over here. Okay, it doesn't seem quite as cataclysmic for the Germans over here. And in fact, they've actually taken out all the French soldiers. Oh, no, no, there's one guy left. There's one guy left. Let's watch him die. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm not quite sure what happened to the Germans on the other side. There are some British reinforcements heading down from all the way over there. You can see there's one guy on a beach on his own. More French soldiers holding the stairs down to the beach. I don't believe it. It looks like the Germans are going to lose Dunkirk. So we got a bunch of British guys down here just kind of mincing around. And trying to get some trick shots off, uh, which I respect. Look at this lad. Go on, mate. Go on, mate. Go on, 1v1. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You got a rifle against an MP40, but I believe in you. Oh, he's actually done it. What a guy. Double he's kill. taken two down. If he gets a... Bro, he's actually on a killing spree. This one dude is literally... I don't believe it. Literally, look at that guy's corpse. Look at him. Nah, he's finally gone down. He was a hero, though. He was a hero, and there's more of them moving in. There's more Brits moving in. But I think we need to- I think we need to do the only reasonable thing here, ladies and gentlemen. I want to see the Germans run down the pier and see if some of them drown. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spawn in some more. Right, let's see how these boys do. There's only a couple of Brits over there. Surely they can't lose Dunkirk with that many reinforcements. Bro, they're literally- somehow they- I, th I don't know. Did they kill them- kill each other or what? What's happening? Have they managed to get onto the pier yet? There's a little bit of a fight happening down here. Let's just double check. Did any of the guys I spawned on the pier? Yes. Yes would be the answer to that question. Many of them have drowned. So what's happening with this battle down here? Why is it slowed down? Oh, okay. So there's a bunch of Germans there. So let's see. What do the, what do these guys do now? Okay. One more guy popped up there. So where do they go now? Okay. So yeah, there's just a bunch of Brits that are slowly dribbling in over here. Since that last Brit died, who is a total hero, this has basically been what's happening. As you can see, it's not it's not exactly ideal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring all the Brits here and force them to fight. Okay, the final battle is about to begin here. Look at this. We've got six Brits against ten Germans. Uh, doesn't look to be going very well, uh, and I think we're already down. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. Also, look at that T-posing orange dude that just spawned in the corner as this guy got murdered. Nine Germans are left. Dunkirk is uh, a defeat. Now, as I said in the intro, I've not got one, I've not got two, I've in fact got ten Steam keys for Warbox Sandbox, kindly provided by the developers Madar Games. All you need to do if you want one of these Steam keys, join the Discord linked in the description or the pinned comment and upvote the post in announcements. I'll then put all of your names into a big random name selector and pick 10 lucky winners. Thank you Warbox Sandbox for the Steam keys and don't forget to join the Discord. Do it. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna have four teams. We'll have the Soviets, the Germans, the British, and the Americans, they'll each be on their own team, will place down 50 units per team, and they're all gonna fight to the death in a fist battle royale to see who the strongest unit in World War II was. Okay, so I placed them as evenly as I possibly could. Look at the top. You'll see 50, 50, 50, 50. That's 50 Soviets, 50 Americans, 50 British, and of course, 50 Germans. I want you to comment in the comment section who you think is gonna win. I'm gonna say the Soviets. I'm gonna say the Soviets. Their country's cold and they're generally pretty hard. This is gonna be incredibly interesting. Okay, so the Soviets are going for the Germans the Brits have split in two. The Americans, nobody's gone for the Americans. The Americans had a favorable spawn here, which might mean they might get the win. Oh my God. Look at this pile of bodies. They're literally all getting one hit knocked out. It's actually tragic. Yeah, the Soviets are winning. Hold on a second. Hold on. It's actually close. It's actually a close battle. So we got seven Soviets and five Americans. Seven Soviets versus five Americans. It's all to play for, boys. Let's see who comes out on top. Oh, that guy's gonna get done. Oh, it's a 3v3. 
three. It's a 3v3. Oh, I don't believe it. The Americans have won. The Americans have won. Now, I know they got a slightly favorable spawn, but I don't care. Uh, the win is the win. The Americans take the victory. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Warbox Sandbox. Subscribe, comment, like, all the good things. See you next time.